Hi, it's the 19th of August, plenty of news, let's get into it. The Iceland supermarket in the UK offers interest-free loans to buy your grocery shopping. That's madness, interest-free loans to pay for your food for that week that you're going to be paying for months. Now I've got four articles about cash in the UK and they all contradict each other and they were all yesterday. So I just believe that the event that's going to get them to make us not use cash is close. Death of cash nears is just one in 20 transactions use notes and coins in the UK. So that's the first one. People ditch credit cards for cash to cut down on their spending. So when you give over cash, you suddenly realise what you're giving over as on a credit card, you, you can lose control of your spending. Cash use is set to survive despite slump in 2020, uh, says the UK finance trade body. And finally, 23 million Brits abandon coins as cashless society nears. So as you can see, they all contradict each other and they're all on the same day, which was yesterday morning. Now, China has ramped up its gold buying from Switzerland. So I believe there's going to be some sort of gold backed yuan and they bought 80 tons, so that's a massive amount. Now, there's going to be some odd art articles here, but you'll understand that it's, it's to get you to go down the road that they want to get down. So here's the first odd one. The Guardian says that organic fed sheep and cow products are the most damaging farm products. Thames Water announces a hosepipe ban from the 24th of August in the UK, which will affect 15 million people. Now, someone said yesterday that the London had a month's worth of rain in one day recently. So yeah, that's another oddity, but yeah, the water ration is coming. EU gas prices apparently are seven times higher than in the USA. Now, here's a few articles about Germany. Germany is in a bad, bad place. German power prices are at a record high as the energy crisis worsens. Apparently, Germany will run out of gas in three months if Ruskiland turns off the taps. Germany to slash the VAT tax on household energy bills from 19% to 7%. Don't think it'll help much, really. Now, some firms closing down due to power uh, crisis. Toyota and a top battery maker in China have halted their factories due to the heat wave induced power crisis. A Slovak aluminium smelter will halt production from October due to the energy costs crisis. Now, a few about the UK. An odd one here. UK cyclists could face registration number plates and 20 mile per hour speed limits. I thought they were trying to get everybody onto their bikes and onto scooters and, and walking and using public transport. It's odd. In the UK, the Greens have offered a solution to the energy crisis, nationalise the major five energy companies. In the UK, apparently 45 million will be pushed into fuel poverty by January 2023. I'll say it's by design and yeah, Everything keeps shown as January 2023, and that'll be the fuel cap at £5,000. Working from home in the UK could cost £175 extra in energy bills this winter. UK again. Wages crash despite a record amount of job vacancies. This is another odd article. Why spending winter abroad could be the answer to soaring utility bills. It's just another, you'd have to fly to get there. You know, it's just, you'd have to pay to rent a property, be in a hotel. It's just, the articles at the moment, the standard of journalism, it's in the toilet. Savers in the UK lose 142 pounds a month. The worst return since the 1970s, and it's all due to inflation, inflation apparently. Spending on credit cards is up 33% in the UK due to the cost of living. There's that 33 number again. 
Bank Australia is to ditch fossil fuel car loans in a push for electric vehicle future. Finally, the weird one of the day, Japan wants its citizens to drink more booze, more alcohol, to raise tax revenue because apparently uh, the younger generation doesn't drink as much as what the older generation does. So um, yeah, some odd articles, some um, strangely timed ones as well. So please like, please subscribe, make sure you share it to as many people as you can, comment, and I'll see you on the next one.